So welcome, uh, Ash. Welcome to this scene of the crime from last night, <laughs> the Europe Cup game against uh, Iroclas. Mm -hmm. um, that was quite a game. Uh, how are you feeling today? I'm, I'm pretty tired. Yeah, it was, as, as you could see, it was a very intense game, uh, very physical. Um, so yeah, I think, I think most of us are pretty tired today. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, you, you, you guys worked hard, so it's, uh, it's really logical. I feel good, kind of tired. Um, but overall, I feel good. I feel good about the game. You're proud of the, the team performance? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Everybody stepped up in the way that we needed to and put in the effort that they needed to be. You know, you've been a leader now for about two months. Mm -hmm. um, how are you settling in? Oh, great, great. Um, it's not too unfamiliar for me being from Denmark. Uh, I can see a lot of similarities. Um, and of course, Leiden is, is awesome. Um, it's a beautiful town. Uh, I love just walking around downtown and, and taking in, in all the, the scenery uh, with the canals and all the cafes and everything. Um, and yeah, I mean, me and my wife, we, uh, we settled in pretty good now uh, in our apartment and, and got a good routine going now. So it's pretty good. It's good. Lightning's fun. Um, different university with the school um, and then especially without Corona, it's completely different. I never got to really experience Zola because everything, when we were on lockdown, but being here in Leiden, um, the vibe is really good and the people are really friendly. I can't say anything else about it. Have you picked up some of the Dutch habits yet? I mean, the stro Stroop waffles and, uh, yeah, and some, biking. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I had some Stroop waffles. Um, I bike to the gym once in a while. Yeah. I bike downtown, I'll just bike around just to see the wilderness, but it's fun. Uh, cool. You told me you haven't got a driver's license. No, I don't. Do you ride a bike? Or that's you, right, yeah. that's right. Uh, that's that's my thing. I come in here on my bike every day yeah. for practice. Uh, I just never had time to take a driver's license. Uh, a lot of things came up, but we're going to blame COVID for it all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I've been to Denmark a few times, and there's a lot of bikes there too. So that's right. That's it's right. not uh, not too di dissimilar. Mm -hmm. um, actually, you pl you played NBA Summer League in uh, mm -hmm. Orlando mm -hmm. uh, this summer. Uh, can you explain a little bit what it's like and, and uh, what the process is to to to, yeah. to do that? Uh, I mean, it was it was a, first of all it was a great experience um, to meet all these players in the NBA and, and coaches uh, to start uh, trying to start a network. Uh, but the whole experience was was pretty pretty spectacular. Uh, of course, it's in Las Vegas, so you go to Las Vegas and you live in this nice hotel. Uh, you get your own room and this, you can get uh, the views like off the strip. Um, and then, of course, you get to practice with NBA coaches and, and NBA drills and all that. Um, so it was it was an awesome experience. It was hard work because uh, it was just a small week. So there was a lot of practice, a lot of things we had to go over. So it was a, a couple of practices a day. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was it was very different, but an amazing experience. Uh, how do you get invited for for such a thing? Because uh, uh, Geert, uh, your your coach, he, he right. was at Orlando before. Did he have, right. did he have a role right. to play? Or? Hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm, maybe maybe there was something in there, <laughs> but I, honestly, I don't I don't know. Uh, I I just um, got my call from from my agent and said, well, Andrew Magic is is interested to have you on their summer league team. I was, obviously, I would say. I said yes on the spot, um, but before that, I've have I worked out w with them uh, for a pre-draft workout, um, and then I, maybe that was when they decided uh, they wouldn't see me a little more. Maybe. Well, first we get to enjoy you here in the five miles, that's so right. that, that's a good thing. John, uh, the last couple of games we've seen a glimpse of um, how our supporters can get behind the team. Mm -hmm. What does that? What does it do to you when you uh, when you feel and hear the support you're getting? Uh, it, it's a boost, you know what I'm saying? It's a good way to know that they have our backs, even if we do something bad or especially when we do something good. It's good just to, just to hear them and understand that, they, that they're with us, especially with fans being back now. It's, it's fun. I think, I think it's only just a start. Uh, yeah. uh, w once we really get a packed house, and uh, it's going to be uh, super awesome for I, you guys. I would agree, yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. It seems that the team is uh, starting to, uh, to click. Mm -hmm. um, open players are found more frequently. Is, is this something you focus on a lot during practice? And, uh, and what do you feel still needs improving from the team? Well, I mean, we've been together, as you said, for two months now. Uh, and it takes time for a group to start to click. 
Um, I think we've, we've done well from the beginning. Uh, but as you can see that every day, every game, I think we, we get connected even more um, and we find each other. Uh, the chemistry gets better every day. Um, and, you know, in practice, we just try and get each other better, practice hard. Um, there's not necessarily a specific things. Of course, there's specific things we work on, but for chemistry rise, uh, it's just about having fun on the court and, you know, playing with each other and, and, and making sure that everyone's on the same page. Well, it seems to be working so far. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. And we see, we see some mixed results in the B Next League uh, up to now. Mm -hmm. um, it seems that the top four uh, has widened the gap with um, the, the teams below that. It's mm -hmm. traditional uh, Donar, Heroes, mm -hmm. Swole and, and ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you keep locked in for each game? And, and particularly, you know, you've got the European games, you've got the domestic games. How, how do you keep focused to make sure that every game we perform? It, it, is that even possible? Yeah, you take one game at a time. Um, this is my first year playing in FIBA Europe or any other international level. So, you know, you take one game at a time, you prepare for the team that's ahead and you don't look too far ahead. So you stay locked in at that moment. And then when that, then when that time is over, I'm right next to the next game. It's uh, a little bit of the credo that Geert has as well. One, te one game at a time mm, and yeah. then uh, yes, work sir. on that. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. The, the fact that we play European uh, Cup basketball, is that also one of the reasons why you came to Leiden? Um, it's a different experience. I, I'm happy to come to Leiden, but it was a reason why. Um, I enjoy I wanted I enjoy playing here, and I wanted to see the FIBA Euro Cup, and I'm glad for the opportunity that they, that Leiden gave me to play for it. Actually, it can be considered as, a, as an old school center, if if you like. Um, you know, you play a, a good post up game. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of the NBA development of the bigs are becoming more outside shooters and setting picks and, and basically that's their role. Is it is that something you feel you need to develop yourself into as well? I mean, I'm of course it is. Uh, I think every player in the world has NBA aspirations since it's the best league in, in the whole world. Uh, so that I have that too. So I try and work on the things that uh, are trending, as you can say, because just 10 years ago, as you said, I'm an old school center. It's banging in the post, post moves, uh, it's been big and physical. Now it's more outside spacing, uh, shooting threes, as you said. Uh, so it's, I don't have anything against how, how the developments in, in, in center position is going. Um, it's just about keeping up with it. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can for sure. Uh, but I always have, my heart is in the post, that's uh, for sure. <laughs> well, we've seen a bit of that uh, in the last two games. I mean. 100% from behind the arc, uh, <laughs> three out of three, so that's not bad. That's right, that's right. Uh, we mentioned already you, you played in Zwolle last year mm -hmm. under uh, Hermann von der Belt, a mm -hmm. coach there. Um, he is a coach that likes to play disciplined basketball, mm -hmm. team basketball. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a big difference between him and Geert? To an extent, no. You know what I'm saying? They both play team basketball and they're both good at what they're, what they're good at. They succeed in their own ways and they succeed in the ways that help their, them and their team succeed. I, they both have a really unique coaching style. I really, I really accept it. I like it. Let's talk a little bit more about the, the last night game against yeah. uh, Iroclas. Um, how, how did you, as a team, uh, manage to keep Iroclas to only sixty-three points? I mean, it's hard. Of course, it's hard work. Um, but I think, uh, I think we wanted it more. Um, that's what I, I got out of it. Uh, we we came in here thinking that we were going to win. That's the mentality you got to have as a player. Um, so that's, that's what we thought and that's what we, what we wanted. And, uh, and, we, and I think we played like that. We played like the team who really, really wanted to win. And, and of course, that's, that carries over for every single player. When one player starts to, to get a little passion going, everyone else gets passion going. And, and it's just like, it's contagious. Everyone starts to play like, they really, really want to win. Well, it's always good to see bodies on the floor flying exactly. around. Exactly, we were all so flying the, on the floor. Uh, we were diamond on the wheels balls, yeah, right. for sure. So, I mean, it, it, it was a great team effort, but mm -hmm. how important was this win? Oh, it was really, really important. It was huge for us. Um, coming coming from the first Greek league into our home and, and winning this game is, is, is big because, again, we got to go down to their place and do the same thing. And, and obviously, home court advantage is, is, is huge. Um, so having to win here is, is a great start for us. I would say to an extent, yeah. I think um, 
with those big cup games com coming to us really quick, we had to gel as a team really fast. I think a lot faster than some other teams had to. And with that, with us doing that, we're prepared for games like this. So if something comes off, we know that everybody else can step up in that scenario. At one point, I saw you on the court talking to uh, one of the players of Iracles. Was, mm -hmm. was there some uh, trash talking going on, or was it just friendly bad uh, banter? No, it's never trash talking. It's me and him are from the Texas area. He's from Dallas, and I'm from San Antonio. And just we know we know the same people, and we played against the same people. So it was just cool just to have someone all the way out here from the same area where I'm at, literally two hours away, maybe three. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun that all of a sudden you come across each other. Yeah, it was great. It was great. We have a bit of a, a, a WAGS section in the stands. Oh, yeah. You know what WAGS means? Wives <laughs> yeah, and girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they turn out to be some of the loudest supporters in the fan right. mail. Um, do, do you get a lot of your family following the games? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I have a... Now that I'm in the same time zone as my, my family, uh, they, they watch the games a lot more. Because in the States, it's, it's in the middle of the night. Um, and it's great that all our games is on, on YouTube, so they can follow along on, on live streams. Um, I mean, the support is great, so uh, uh, just keep it coming. <laughs> yeah, we've seen you know, a pretty good audience the last two games. Yeah. Um, it's only a start, I think. I mm -hmm. think we can improve a great deal on that. And, and, and do you have a specific message for uh, all of the fans out there? Hey, just keep it going. Uh, it, it looks like we're having fun, and we're definitely having more fun when, when there's people there. and. You're all yelling and screaming for us. Uh, it's like having the sixth player on the court. So keep it coming and keep being loud. <laughs> really, all, we'll, we'll love to have you, man. It's, I know y'all know. I know a lot of y'all are bored at home, not doing nothing. I know y'all haven't seen there's a lighting game, a new team, um, a fun team, and a great group of guys. And we'll love for y'all to sh come out and show the support. It will, it, we can say we definitely get better. You know, um, we all we all want to pass the ball and see the right man open. It's all coming from the right spot, from the right heart. And but as time goes on, you'll see those numbers go down and lower, and we'll be able to take the care of the ball and score more points off of that as well. Yeah, but a passing game also means more risk, of course. Absolutely, so, of course, yeah. of course. But it's the for me, I don't for me, it's, I'm seeing more as how the team is. The teams we want to see the open man. We see the open man and we try to get it there. And sometimes we they steal it. Sometimes we throw it out of bounds. But for me, it's more like we've seen them, and as the season goes on, it's going to get even better. And we're actually going to hit them, and it's going to be an open shot, easy three, easy layup. Uh, yeah, it seems that the team is very balanced. It doesn't really matter who, who scores the points, Absolutely. and anybody can be, you know, 15 or more. Absolutely. Uh, which makes it difficult for an opponent to read, Absolutely. I suppose. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you.